We have a very special guest in the studio with us today who boasts quite the social media following. He has nearly 75,000 followers on Instagram, more than 84,000 followers on Twitter, and over 203,000 followers on his ever so popular YouTube channel. He is one half of Not Adam and Steve. Please welcome to the show, Will Shepard. How's it going? Hi. Woo. I know, I wish I had a studio audience. I don't have a studio audience. I know, thanks, thanks. Hold your applause. Hold your applause, hold your applause. <laughs> the crew is going nuts right now. Yeah. First of all, thank you, because you are on our premiere episode of season two. It's a big deal. A lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. Now, um, what were some of the biggest surprises and challenges when you first became popular? Like, what was that like? Yeah, uh, well, it was really weird finding my footing with the YouTube channel to begin with because I didn't really know what I wanted to do with it. I was doing gay self-help videos every once in a while and I would do book reviews because I was passionate about reading and my subscribers were as well. Um, but then I started, I started dating this guy named RJ. This guy named uh, RJ, guy who's named RJ? Him? Hey, RJ. Hey, RJ, the fiance. The fiance. Um, and then we started posting like day in the life videos whenever we would go to a theme park. Hey, hey, Florida. Um, hey, Florida. <laughs> and uh, when we would do like exciting things with our day, but it, you know we would have we would do something exciting that yeah. day, and that would merit us making a video. But people loved them. They loved like us being coupley, recording it and sharing it, and they said you should do this every day. Wow. So we're like, okay, that's quite a challenge. That's that's a well, it's a lot to like live your life in like the public eye like that yeah. and to be so open about your process. And congratulations, by the way, yeah. on your engagement. Yeah. You and Yay. RJ are engaged. What was that like getting engaged on YouTube? I mean, did you have any like reservations? Were you scared? Were you worried he was going to say no? I mean, right now that episode has over 475,000 views. <laughs> Half a million yeah, freaking views. I don't even like, that's a lot of views. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I mean, whenever I was doing it, I, to be honest, like YouTube wasn't even, it was such second nature and we, it had been such part of our daily routine at that point that I didn't even like think about the YouTube aspect. I was really trying to make sure that I remembered everything that I wanted to say to him whenever the moment came around. Of course I didn't. All of it like left We're my head. Uh, absolutely. I just kind of like sat there and looked at him and kind of held his hand and would like touch his arm and just hope that the words came back to me. And then I just started saying like love, life, happiness, and then they started forming sentences. I was so nervous. Now, I want to take a look at a clip because you brought a clip from a yeah. recent trip to Europe with yeah. all these big YouTube stars. I guess. So let's take a look. I'm really excited. It's going to be such an adventure. Who knows what they're doing behind me right now. But um, yeah, let's get our Europe shenanigans started, shall we? So that looked like a pretty exciting trip that you guys yeah. went on. You missed your plane. <laughs> the very first thing we had, all we had to do was just get on the plane to go to Europe. Right. And we managed to mess that up. But that's just like the group <laughs> that we were with. Um, it was, Put a bunch of like gay YouTubers together and of course they're going to It's like something's going to go wrong. Yeah. Uh, but no, like, I mean, the rest of the trip was amazing. And obviously to be able to go to Europe for a couple of weeks with some of your best friends yeah. is such an amazing experience. Uh, but the point of it was to go and to meet as many subscribers as possible. So we held meetups. And in each of these different countries? Yeah, in Germany, Italy, and England. Cool. And uh, cool. that was like the goal, to meet as many people as possible. Um, because I f there's such a large European audience, but there's an ocean separating yeah. all of the big YouTubers from their European audiences. Yeah. So it was really cool to be able to bridge that gap. I want to talk about your YouTube videos. So take us back to 2009, when your YouTube channel first launched. I mean, those were kind of like the early days of YouTube yeah. when no one really Ancient knew history. what they were doing. I mean, YouTube was what, what, like three years old? Yeah. It, so it what made you get into this? Well, it started like, whenever I started my, I didn't even know that YouTube was anything f other than like cats and people. Cats playing pianos. Cats playing, or like people yeah. falling down on skateboards and stuff like that. Um, I saw my friend, he was posting little sketch videos that he was making while I was in college. I was maybe a freshman and they were really funny video he would post them to his facebook but then he would link to his youtube channel and i'm like oh okay so he has a youtube channel where he's uploading these skits yeah and whenever i went to his channel i saw that he was subscribed to these other channels five awesome gays michael buckley tyler oakley yeah and, I'm, oh my and gosh. I, I started watching and I, they were talking to me and mm -hmm. I thought that was so weird. These people were sitting down in front of a camera talking to the person that was watching rather than a cat playing with a ball yarn or something. <laughs> and it was, it was mind blowing and I thought this was so cool. And then right after that I found the coming out story archive and that meant a lot to me because it was helping wow. me 
go through the coming out process that I was going through at that time. The majority of my videos that I made at the very beginning are since deleted, but one of the early ones that I kept was my coming out story. And it was, I was so young. I think I was like 19 in my bedroom back when I was living with my parents still. I had the worst webcam right? and uh, the lighting was awful, but I'm, I always tell people whenever they start a YouTube channel, your first videos are gonna be the ones that suck. You're gonna be like, okay. Embarrassed. But I mean, it was a really important video for me. Of course. And um, it was that coming out story archive that I found all those years ago that kind of inspired me to keep making videos. Because um, yeah. back then, like YouTube was where the weird kids went to express themselves. And I mean, like Smosh, they are amazing. And I love Anthony and Ian. But they were like, they had such a, just a, they geeked out about Pokemon and Zelda. Right. All, and that's how like they got started. Gaming. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So, um, so like this is where you really like kind of found your voice as an artist, as a writer, as a director, as a producer, yeah. as, as everything. <laughs> it's hard as even, a multi-hyphenate. It's, it's hard to even think of myself as that because all I like to do, I just like sharing content. So, Will, VidCon's coming up. Yeah. VidCon. So are you going to be there? Tell Definitely. us about it. I've never been. I'm a VidCon virgin. You are, I cannot wait to see your reaction whenever you go. VidCon is a separate, like it's so, it's so much fun. There's so many people. Um, I'm glad that it's grown so quickly over the yeah. past couple of years because it started out pretty small but now it's massive and everyone wants to go um yeah i'm gonna be there i have a mental health workshop that i'm doing no way yeah, i'll so, totally come sit in yeah so cool and so nice and then we have a signing as well mm -hmm. uh all the huge youtubers are going to be there and so many fans i think last year it was just over 10,000 people that attended wow 10,000 people 10, that's ridiculous it's so many people right yeah um, and like you, you told me a story before we were starting. You got stuck in a hallway for five hours. No, I was. I went to the expo hall. Yeah, and I was just checking out the booths and wanted to see what was going on. And then like some people started coming up, coming up. And I think that once the first few people break the ice, everyone yeah. else doesn't is not like, oh, I, we can just go talk to him. He's really cool. Yeah, exactly. And that's well, that's kind of like what VidCon is. You know, yeah. you, you you want to go and see your favorite creators. And we wanted to make sure that we were out and about so people could come and say hey to us. And we were there for five hours. Five hours. Just like saying hey to people. So it was pretty that's cool. That's awesome. Well, we will definitely come and say hey to you Definitely. when we're at VidCon. Um, thank you so much for being on the show. You totally uh, burst my cherry for season two because you're, you're our welcome. first guest. Hey. Um, and please say hello to your lovely um, future Beyonce. husband, yeah. future Beyonce, husband, future husband. RJ, you're next. We better get you on the show. We're going to put you in the hot spot. So Beyond when you down. get back, when you get back, don't forget to subscribe to Will's channel. Like, comment, follow him on Instagram and Twitter. And again, thank you so much for being my first guest. No Stick around, boys and girls. We've got more in store for you right here on Boys in Tech. Thanks so much for watching this week's show, the first of our season two. We've got so much more for you. We hope that you guys enjoyed it. I want to uh, thank my online audience. Thanks for coming back and seeing us. Don't forget to check out some of our other great videos. We've got coverage from Pride to DragCon, you name it. It's all right here on our YouTube page. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at Damien Media or at Boys in Tech. And don't forget to tune in and watch us every week because we're back, baby, right here on our YouTube channel, Boys in Tech. <laughs>